Welcome to the Windows Computer and Technology channel. And one question that I got on um, a um, comment, and I've seen that in the past, uh, people that go into the File Explorer, into the C drive, to find uh, the different folders and the different options uh, from the C drive in the user account uh, often are confronted with one big problem. If the PC is not yours and was given to you, or maybe you purchased a PC that was uh, configured as a default kind of machine ready to work by a computer shop. Of course, one of the things they did is just create a, a user account for Windows that you can go to. And of course, that user account, when you go to users on the File Explorer, it will represent the name here. It's a short version of the actual name that the PC had. So one of the things that a lot of people are asking me is, um, is there a way to change this username on the C drive? Now, if you started using your PC and been doing a lot of other stuff, the simple answer is no, because that name is now tied to all of the different apps that you use that will, of course, find the different subfolders within that username. So if you change that username, what's going to happen is that you'll have tons of errors and apps and things not finding anything. You'll just go into a crash windows pretty much. So that name will be fixed uh, and you have no choice to keep that name there. You can change the username within the account settings if you want, but that will still make that name the same name so in the account information that you have whatever you'll give it's even if you change the name of the account you'll still have the same name here because it can't change that anymore in the a possibility that you have not yet used your pc what you could do to actually have a username that you want is to go into your settings, go into accounts. In here, what you might want to do is simply add a new account. So basically here, you'll simply um, go into uh, either family or the users. And what you're going to do is you're going to add an account here. So go to family or the users and just click add someone else to this PC. As you add someone to the PC, when you actually use the account and log into it, uh, make sure that it's an admin account, not a local account, by the way. Um, when you will actually have added a admin user account with the name that you will have created, you will have a second name show up here in the folders. And that second name with the admin account is going to be the one you can access. As long as it's an admin account, what happens is that you can actually just log into that account. And from that account, you can just shut down the other account, which means the default will become the new username that you have. But for that to work, you will have to make sure that you have not done anything on the other account yet because that's going to become complicated if you do so. So, yeah, the basic name here has to be done and thought of immediately the first time that you actually create the first Windows account when you actually install Windows. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe, give us a thumbs up. Thank you for watching.